questions? It's going. It's doing a little spinning wheel of death for me. I wait for it to start. On mine, it shows us that, that it's recording. I know it always shows it on there. It goes on the other end. It always shows that it's recording, but I like to wait until like on my side it does like a little ding, and then I know for sure. So, all right. So now that we're recording, um, we are still going to do a constellation. We're going to work with constellations for the whole week. So, yeah. What's up? What is the least amount of kids in a class? Zero. We have zero. I have zero here. No, like. That there is kids in the class. Oh, I mean, some people have like one, two, or three. The class that has the most is like five kids. So there's really not that many kids around the school at all. Um, so in Google Classroom, we had just had an assignment post in science called Constellations Article. This should be a very quick science lesson. We have a small little thing to read on the Google Slides, and then a couple of questions to answer, and then a little bit of research on our second slide. So it really won't take very long at all. Seven questions and then a little bit of research. So I'm going to get zoomed in on this. 100 is pretty good. Um, I'll give you guys a minute to get it pulled up, though, let you get there. I'm there. I'm there. Good. Awesome. Me too. I'm there. Cool. Then I could see a couple of you guys there. We've got Go Guardian up, so you know I could see your screens and all that. So, awesome. Okay, so a lot of you guys are there. So what we're going to do, the directions say, read about constellations and then answer the questions. Um, there's text boxes underneath where we will write our answers. Um, we are not going to do complete sentences on this one. We'll just do like little bullet points and we'll work on it together. And then on our second one, oops, too far. We are going to have to do a little bit of Googling and we're going to look up what is Orion also known as. And when you look that up, it should tell you that Orion is also known as the hunter. So that's kind of the picture that it or, draws. In or it, it could be like this. A shape in space. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically, what what does it look like in the sky if you were to look up? Like, are we gonna do this alone? Or are we gonna do it together? Um, probably a little bit of both. So we're gonna start on slide one with the constellations thing. I'm gonna read through it with you guys first, and then we'll answer the questions. So I'm actually sure. Let's see. If I zoom in, no, 200 is gonna be way too much. So I guess we're gonna stay here. It says, have you ever looked at the night sky and saw patterns in the stars? The patterns can form any shape, such as a person, an animal, or even an object like a swing. These groups of stars that form an imaginary shape are what we call constellations, which is exactly what we learned yet, uh, yeah, yesterday, almost said last week, not last week. Um, the people of ancient Greece were the first to describe constellations. They came up with stories or myths for each group of stars that formed an image. For example, Andromeda is known is the con okay. Andromeda is a constellation, also known as the captive princess. She was sacrificed to the sea monster by her parents to rid themselves of a curse. And um, Andromeda is one of the eighty-eight named constellations. Other than telling stories, early civilization would use the patterns of the stars for practical use. They would use constellations to know where they were and what time of the year it was. Farmers depended on the stars to know when it was time to plant and when it was the right time to harvest. Because of these constel wait, sorry. Because constellations are always moving naturally as the earth moves, celestial spheres are important. A celestial sphere is an imaginary sphere that astronomers use to map out the sky. Mapping out the constellations help astronomers know where everything is at at a certain time of the year. Ships were able to travel around the world because of constellations. 
It allowed for the discovery of America and the spread of European culture. So essentially, that's all the stuff that we learned yesterday in a couple of paragraphs, right? We learned and talked about all of that yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to go ahead and answer these questions. Like I said, they don't need to That was to be... shorter terms of it. Yeah, it was much quicker than what we did yesterday, right? Why won't this look? There we go. Um, we don't need to write in complete sentences on this part. That's okay. Um, but who would like to tell me what a constellation is? Isn't it like a group of stars that make a picture? Yep. A group of stars that makes, um, let's do an image in the sky. Nice and quick. I honestly think we'll be done by one o'clock with this for sure. I don't think it'll take us long at all. Alrighty. Got that one? Mm -hmm. Yep. Number two says, who were the first people to describe constellations? The ancient Greeks. The ancient Greeks. Perfect. I scroll down just a little bit. Number three, it does say it in the second paragraph, but what does the word myth mean? Stories. They're stories. That are not true. Oh, hang on, I'm getting a call. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully you got one, two, and three done. So myths are stories. I did, um, I did stories that are not true, and then I did, um, parentheses made up. Yeah, they're basically made up stories. Um, and ancient Greeks told myths basically to describe what was happening in the world. Um, they used, like, the gods and stuff to talk about how Okay, well, the sun came up, so Apollo brought the sun out, right? Things like that. All right. But Atlas carrying the earth. Yeah, Atlas holding up the sky, right? Yeah, things like that. Good. Um, number four. Andromeda is a constellation, and it's asking us, what is that constellation also known as? What do some people call it? Isn't it like the Andromeda boat? Oh, you guys both talked at the same time. Isn't it like the longest constellation? Like that one is Hydra. The answer oh, yeah. to number four is in the second paragraph here. Is it the Andromeda boat? It's a constellation known as the Captive Princess. Good. So it says it. Let's see. Can I highlight on here? Oh, cannot highlight. Uh, it says right here, for example, Andromeda is a constellation also known as the Captive Princess. So this comes from one of the myths about Andromeda um, and her parents had a curse on them so they threw her into the sea and she became the captive princess. They were very nice parents apparently. 
be a little sad to throw your daughter into the sea. All right. Number five says, how many constellations are there that are 88. named? 88. Perfect. 88 constellations. Am I going too quick or are we doing all right? I'm doing We're good. I'm doing good. Good. Okay. I'm going too quick. Just remember that I do post these on Schoology. If you ever need to go look for them, they're under the science folder or um, ELA or math, depending on which one you need to go look up. So. Keep that in mind. You're not. I finished the first page. Good. We're almost there. So, um, how did constellations help the farmers? So they knew what season it was, and okay, uh, so know when they had to pick their crops. But so they know what season it is. And good, Bradford. It's like a clock. They, it, the the time of year helps them figure out when they need to plant things and when they need to harvest them. They know what season it is, so they know when to plant crops and when to harvest them. Good. So it allowed them to basically look at the stars and be like, okay, well, it's this time of year. That means we should plant wheat. And then they let it grow for a couple months and they're like, oh, it's a new time of the year. It's time to pick the wheat or barley or corn, whatever they were growing. Do you mean it is for a season it is? They know what season, yep. Thank you. Perfect. They know what season it is, so they know when to plant crops and when to harvest. Yep, okay. Got it now. Perfect. Ms. Jones? Yes. Um, my computer keeps on kicking me um, off the meat. Hmm. Honestly, I have no idea why that would be. Just keep trying to come back in and... Stay as caught up as you can, but if anything, I do post this up later if you need to go back and rewatch it. Okay. 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 Cool. Sorry, it keeps kicking you out. It's okay. Yeah. Alrighty. And number seven. What is a celestial sphere? A made-up uh, map. Imagine. Yeah. An imaginary, imaginary map around the Earth. Okay, so it's an imaginary map. I got that out of that. Wait, would an yeah. imaginary line around the Earth count? Yeah, that would work, but what is it of? What is it showing us? The constellations. Good, of the constellations. Perfect. So there is our one through seven. I'll give you guys a second to type that out, and then we'll go look at our slide number two. Wait, so we just look up the meeting on slide number two? Yeah. Can I start on it? Uh, yeah. It just shows the ship on the second one. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, um, I found a website really quick that has all of these on it, I believe, that has the name of them. So let me look this up really quick. Alternate names for constellations. And I'm going to um, copy and paste this into our chat. 
And then you guys can go to this website from the chat. Where did it go? There it goes. So if you click on that website, it takes you to a list of all 88 of the constellations. So you're going to have to scroll through and find the correct one. But it'll tell you what each one is also called. So if we look at it, and we're looking for Andromeda, the very first one, they have a different name for it than what we saw earlier. They also call it the Chained Maiden. But that's also like being the captive princess. It's like the same thing, just different words. So basically, you'll scroll through, find the, the constellation you're looking for, and put what it's also called. You guys see how that works? Does that make some sense? Cool. Yes. So that, cool. So that um, website is there for you. Why don't you guys take five minutes to do that? And then we'll go through the answers. You guys can call them out, and I will write them in the thing. Sound good? Cool. Take a few minutes to work on that, please. I'm going to go back to this thing. I have all the answers written on a piece of paper. You guys need a couple more minutes to finish it? Yes. About five more minutes. Okay, go ahead and take that time. Miss Jones? Yep. Can you go to the first one? This one up here. To number one, please. There. I had to help my sister with something. That's okay.
All right, cool. I see a couple of you guys getting closer to the end. So I'll give you about, oh, that's on my watch. Let's do about three more minutes and then we'll just review them. Miss Jones, even in the in this, it even says Perseus is the Greek hero. Mm hmm Just like in the Percy Jackson books. Yep. Mm hmm They say, well, in the books they talk about how Percy is named after the Perseus of the myths. So it makes sense. Sorry. Right, we'll do about one more minute. Well done. Cool. I can see a couple of you guys finishing up, so that's good. Okay, so we're going to go over them. Um, the years might be slightly different if you found them on a different website or anything, because I could see a couple of you guys looking up the stuff instead of using the website. So as long as they basically mean the same thing you're good so it's just like how with andromeda up here on our first slide we said that andromeda meant the captive princess but that website said that it was the chained maiden they mean exactly the same thing they just use different words so as long as yours basically mean the same thing you're good does that make sense sound good Alrighty, so for number three, Canis Major. What did you guys get for what that is also known as? The big dog. The big dog. The big dog. And if you look at the picture, do you guys see a dog in it? Yeah. If you turn your head, I can kind of see a dog in it. I didn't even look at the pictures. Yeah, the I pictures have the constellation in it. No, I just looked at it and started going. Yep. So as we, as we do it, see if you can see the uh, what it says. What about Andromeda? Can you see? I don't really see a chained maiden. <laughs> Not going to lie. I don't really see a woman at all. I know. I don't get how they find out these names and stuff and what I they know. look like. I don't know. But for number one, Orion, I could see the hunter there. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can see his bow and everything. Yeah, I agree. All right, number four. Canis Minor, what does that one mean? Small dog. small dog. The small dog. Do we see a small dog in this one? No. No, I don't see a small dog. But How does know, it look like a dog? I don't know. Oh, wait, but, I can kind of see why they call it the small dog. If you go back and look at the Canis Major, you can look at and see those two really dark dots, and uh -huh. it shows like the it shows like this, those two dots. So I can kind of see how it's the small dog. Yeah, I could see it. Maybe it can doesn't look like, it doesn't look like a dog at all. I just no, see it doesn't. It. Yeah. But maybe Canis Minor, so the small dog, is this, like, you see these three darker stars right here? 
Yeah. If you flip around Canis Minor, it fits on those three stars. So maybe Canis oh, yeah. Minor is part of Canis Major. It's possible. Yeah, that's actually a good one. Because yeah. if you look at those two dots, and then you see that line connecting to that one really bold mm -hmm. dot, kind of yep. how it is on Canis Minor, you, I think that connects to that. Yeah, it might be part of it, which would yeah. be kind of cool. All righty, number five, Ursa Major. What did you get for that one? The Big Bear. A big bear. The Bernstein bear. I don't know if I really see a bear in that one. I see the Bernstein bear. Maybe there's a bear. What about number six? Ursa Minor. A I see a walking bear. giraffe in that one. You know, Ursa Major looks more like a giraffe to me, but it's actually like a five legged giraffe with a very it's long tail. Skeleton of a bear. It could be like more like the skeleton of a bear versus yeah. like the that's possible, yeah. Um, and yeah, then Ursa yeah. Minor, we said, is yeah, the cool same bear. Thing with Ursa Minor is that if you go back and look at Ursa Major, it has the same thing in it, too. That's true. So this one right here, Ursa Minor, is the Big Dipper, or the Little Dipper. I don't know yeah. which one. But you can see, like, the scoop right here. And this Ursa Minor is actually part of Ursa Major. It looks yeah. like it, at least. Maybe that, that's what has to do with those minors and stuff. Yeah, because Major means big. And minor means small, so it's possible well, maybe that maybe like major... a piece of it, and then it, yeah. it's minor, and then the whole thing is major. Yeah, Mitch Jones. Yeah, one of the characters in Harry Potter is called Jacko. Yeah, he's named after the dragon. Yeah. Okay. Number seven, Cygnus. What did you guys get for that one? The small dog. Wait, no, wrong one. The swan. <laughs> the swan. Um, do we see a swan in that? Yes, I kind of do. Kind of. It's got, like, Like, wings. you can see the wings and everything, but, yeah. like, I don't see how that looks like a swan. Yeah, I can see it a little they bit. probably um, brought, brought in some weirdo and just started naming all these things. Maybe. Okay, number eight, Draco. What'd you get for that? The, the dragon. dragon. The dragon. Um, I don't know if I see a dragon in that one. It's kind of small. I, I kind of do. I can see, like, so, look, if you look at the, that weird little thing that kind of go, goes up and down, and then that big box, that's, like, the head of a dragon, and then yeah. the, 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 the red like stars is his body. Kind of like Hydra. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of. That's cool. Yeah. So, maybe, Number like, a smaller Hydra. Maybe, yeah. Number nine, Hercules. What'd you get There's for that? The strong man. man. The strong The man. muscly man. Yeah. Which makes sense based on based on the myths of Hercules, right? If you think about the movies about Hercules, he's a big, strong dude. And yeah. He's, he's kind of like a sideways man in this, I feel like. I feel like his body is more towards the bottom right of this, if you flip it. Yeah. And then his legs are kind of up. I there. don't. Yeah. To me, it looks like a ninja star. Maybe. Oh, no, it does. <laughs> All righty. Let's look at number 10, Cassiopeia. What did you guys get for that one? The queen. Queen. I don't know if I see a queen here. It looks like a W. Maybe like that's supposed to be part of the crown, like a crown. Uh, on um, oh wait, Miss Jones on Perseus and Pegasus. They got all those things messed up because on Perseus that picture looks like a Pegasus. I know. I on think Perseus, so. it kind of looks like Pikachu. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Okay, number 11, Perseus. What is that supposed to be known as? It's the Greek hero. Good. Also, a bad person I thought you read it too. Awesome. The Greek hero. On Pegasus, you kind of really don't need to go and look at it. It's just a winged horse. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you think about the Hercules movie, you have a Pegasus in there and it's a winged horse. Yeah. That's what that is. The winged horse. Perfect. Do you guys see a winged horse in that? I look. I see a chair. No. Yeah, I don't really see it either. But you know, I see a broken box. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. So down. once you guys get that filled out, we're good to go. And we can turn hopefully, it in. Yeah. Hopefully, you already had it done as we were going. Um. I already did. You see an octopus. That would be <laughs> actually. Kind of I kind of see it. I can kind of see it. That's actually kind of smart. Is that if you just don't do it and wait till you start saying it and then you write them down? I guess, but I'm gonna click out of it now. So if you didn't write them quick enough, then you're out of luck. 
So I am going to stop the recording here. And uh, 